Hello and welcome to our fresh and new episode of the revamped Robot Master Type Chart series. If anyone wonders why I'm revamping those, it should be more obvious when you see the originals themselves. But yeah, in a nutshell, I just decided to revamp them, as well as make fixes to that type chart as a whole. Some Robot Masters didn't make much more sense back in the day when I classified them. Like in today's example, the chemical themed Robot Masters, the majority of those Robot Masters were in the old aquatic themed video. The chemical theme conveys anything that sounds chemical, acidic, or toxic overall, but not toxic as in personality, of course, and this is uh, an entirely new theme, so shall we begin? First off is Toad Man. This is the simplest one so far. In Toad Man's uh, data city or overall description, it states that Toad Man could summon dangerous acidic grain, which is obvious. Yeah, you know. Also, if you're if you're skilled enough to kill Toad Man quickly without without him uh, using the rain dance, then you wouldn't know as much. <laughs> Whatever the type of acid it is that he emits, it is surely toxic and made out of chemicals. And furthermore in details, uh, since Toad Man's rain dance damages you as a robot, means that the weapon you get from him is acidic as well, since you can clearly do damage and kill mere robots in just few seconds. So it adds some points. And Toad Man's stage is literally a sewer, as sewers could include some toxins or chemical solutions in them. Toad Man isn't pure chemical themed, so that's for sure, and what he is based on makes sense for being acid based as well, due to some kind of toads, frogs uh, having toxins in them, so it all fits well. And yeah, I know I said not counting toxic, uh, toxic person as personality in here, but do not forget the, about his appearance in Ruby Spears Mega Man. That face is sure uh, to have some kind of toxic facial expression, you know. Next up is Mercury. Again, another simple one. Mercury's whole origin is made out of liquid metal substance. Well, makes sense, he's called Mercury, and they didn't decide to call him any other planet name. And what do you know, those are chemical, referencing the liquid metal of course, Elmo. With his ability to dismantle and shapeshift to move freely or attack with his liquid metal particles makes it more clear even, and I'm sure he is that type that can melt through metallic figures. Like, I remember in the Gigamix comics that he melted one of the mighty robot masters from Mega Man 6, and I think it was either Nightman or Yamero Man. Still terrifying, so. I could understand how Mercury's entire selfish nature suited him only to just throw in his, uh, things with his poisons so that no one else could claim them. I don't know why he, does, uh, why he doesn't get along with Bluto, so like, what's wrong with cats? <laughs> As for his stage relation, well, first off, he kinda decided to suit himself in a factory stage, as he wasn't located on other planets like the other four later on in the game. Rather, he decided to stick to the airs. How annoying. How, uh, as for his weapon relation, so his grab buster only drains health, referencing his greedy attitude, I believe. So, yeah, Mercury, pretty evil robot master, or steroid, whatever, it's not like a nebula just decided to poop Mercury out of it, he's still a robot and pretty toxic one. Venus is up next. Venus's whole scenario here to make him partially chemical is his source of using bubble bombs, because they are made of a subi substance, subi substances that explode on contact even, just because some chemical reactions are happening to them, I guess. The weapon you get from Venus is in the same scenario as well. Soupy substances would simply imply soup materials in general, as they are known to be chemical, of course. As for his stage relations, I uh, don't exactly know. Also, it doesn't appear to be a sewer as much, it does have a lot of pipes and some water leaks. Fundamentally, it sounds like a sewer, but the stage's design doesn't make it that clear. However, I'm going to count it as a sewer. Once more, for sewers, it could contain chemicals and pollutants. Since Venus is essentially a crab, it makes sense for him to be able to fire bubbles. Also, actual crabs can do that. As well as crabs with poisonous bases that are found around the planets, Venus could highly relate to that. 
So yeah, crab rave, am I right? Next up is Burst Man. Uh, burst, burst Man. Uh, burst Man, yeah. Technically, he's the first robot master to look highly chemical related. He's in a similar scenario to Venus. He is bubble based robot master. Also, the bubbles are chemical and some contains explosives in them. Burst Man's design and origin could be highly based on those bottle, bubble toys. That bubbling bottle is full of soapy liquid, just like in Burst Man's case as well. And since he is chemical, he may he may even be holding chemical reactant bombs. His weapon, as a danger rab, is pretty much just a soapy bubble holding a bob that may trap enemies inside it and later explode. As for his stage, it's a literal chemical planet. So yeah, highly chemical robot master right here. Surprisingly, despite Turbo Man's hatred for Burst Man for being Subi and shooting bu uh, Subi bubbles, Burst Man himself is susceptible to Turbo Man's heat. Burst Man himself is susceptible to Turbo Man's heat. So what to hate here, Turbo Man? You're hating on your brother for merely a thing you can handle. You shaded courage. Next is Mahgrim boy acid man from the most recent mega man classic game mega man 11 that i finally got to play after a long age anyways if first man is so highly related to chemicals then acid man is as well i'm more concentrated on that now what do you get for combining and mixing acid and a little scientist troops and some chunk of metal that is impurable to acid and uh some tubes well, you get this guy looking at you as cold blood. And that's his origin. He is a very, very coarse acidic base due to his name, duh. As he got the scientist mindset built to him, which relates to chemicals. Since scientists could use chemicals and explode to make themselves look as if they woke up from a bad night, I guess that's why Acid Man's helmet looks like a shell. X -D 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 -D. Not only that so, but he got even more crazier when Wily got his baddie baddie hands on him so it fits more even because well, Wily's a mad scientist so makes more sense. Also him being given a speed gear instead of a bar gear makes sense because acid melts fast. As for his stage and weapon, his stage is a literal chemical paradise, he even call it like that. Also, I don't think it's literally a paradise for normal living organisms. Even some robots in Acid Man's stage didn't survive. As for his weapon, the Acid Barrier, in which you cover your whole body self with an acid bubble that melts shots directed at you. And it gets even crazier with bar gear, because you become a walking robot eater while you are in bar gear barrier. Also, Acid Man's lines are fitting for a mad scientist who, who is all into acid and chemicals. Come on in, the acid's fine. Time for an experiment. I Now, with some quick look at the robot masters from well known fan games, or at least from the ones I would only consider, like Rock Force Unlimited and Super Fighting Robot and Rock and Roll only. Try Nitro Man from Mega Man Unlimited. He is based on nitroglycerin, which is an explosive chemical substance. His stage is full of those, which, and his weapon may or may not be in relation, since it is just the explosions themselves, but mayhaps Mega Man is storing a nitroglycerin inside him while shooting. Also, do not question at all at any point why Nitro Man is not explosive. Top 10 questions that won't be answered. Virus Man from Mega Man Rock Force is here simply because of him being based on a virus. Like, come on, it's that simple. There can be chemical viruses and most chemicals cause diseases and infirmity anyways. Everything on his stage, including stage enemies and his weapon, makes sense for him to be here instead of being aquatic. If it doesn't sound chemical so, it is still quite toxic seam-wise, so it works for him. Finally, there's Plague Man from the aforementioned Rock Force. Plagues are bacterial diseases, and the fact his stage is full of what it seems to be toxic sludge for a sea and trash waste adds to that. He himself sprays toxins, and it makes Plague Man more deadlier than walking on Legos with bare feet. I wonder so, why Tornado Man, out of all of the Rock Force gang, is in that stage specifically? 
Tornado man, you stupid little green man. You blow so hard, you're blowing sense the disease to other areas. I still appreciate the help for getting the pickup, so. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's for the first revamp part of the themed robot master videos. I know they were before repetitive, but again, it was about the execution itself for those videos mainly. Be aware that some robot masters may appear again in other themes, just because they are a hybrid of what types you have. Like Venus here for example, he is partially chemical and aquatic, but I'm sure leaving the aquatic explanation for later. It's all about entertaining here. Anyways, thanks for stepping by and watching everyone, and if you are interested in my Discord server if you can join in, that is, then I will leave it in the description in case you can join. Anyways, see y'all.